Well, hello, yo. I'm here to, to talk to you about, you know, it's like a story about, you know, J.C. Dugard and along with the maternity science. And it's, uh, it's what I have colored right here so far with maternity science. Is it talking about, you know, the, the nine planets so far as the galaxy is, like, so far as in the solar system. Uh, but uh, so far as the story about J.C. Dugard, you know, and, and the stolen life is like a memoir. And you got the pinecone charm right there. Story about J.C. Dugard, and then uh, you, got, you got the pine cone right here. But uh, basically, talking about the nine planets right here, is you have it to where you know, use a magnifying glass, but you got uh, you know, say Jupiter, Jupiter, along with the planet Earth, and along with the Sun, and along with you got Saturn right here. And this planet, of course, right here, which uh, I just kind of gave them a, you know, a certain color, but uh, you know, this planet, I guess we could say good. Would be a good example of Mars and then along with Mercury, and then you know, of course you know, this could be like you know Neptune, and then uh, you know Pluto, and then uh, when you're up here, then you, know, you could have you know, Uranus, and and uh, of course you know, the, and then right here, and then uh, yeah, right here could be like you know Venus, but uh, you got you got the the different planets right here, and then along right here is you got the the Moon, but of course right here is you got the the planets right here. And uh, so far as the planets, you know, out of our galaxy, which uh, I'm just wondering, you know, if there is a, a planet, it's like so far as, you know, the purple planet. Purple planet, which, um, you know, I don't know if you say a good example would be like the purple people leader, but, you know, the purple planet, which, uh, if you could, you know, give it a name, just like you say a star, that, you know, the, of course, you know, the planet's name, I guess you say, would be uh, it could either be named after the founder of you say of an astronaut or something, but uh, let's say give the give the planet you know, that that planet right there could could be yeah you know, not not what you say is you know mer you know maple syrup or anything like that, but uh, you know you could give that yeah you know, get get that name you know the uh, uh, planet Tuno uh, you know planet Tuno is like you know, so far as the cousin to Pluto is planet Tuno. But uh, so far as with the pine cone charm, you can look at it as, you know, different planets, you know, different sources of life you can discover so far as, you know, in outer space. You got the, the, the pine cone charm right there, and you got the planet right there. And then, of course, you use the red. You can use the red right here. And then, of course, with the with the red, do a, you know, a bunch of, say, scribbly, scribbly, you know, line effects right there and uh, of course what I did with these planets right here is put is put a real shade a real dark shade right here in the center just to kind of make you know look like that make it look like you know round color instead of flat color is to go ahead and make it look a little bit more round it's like so far as the inside goes and then whenever you work your way you know to the edge then then, then uh, make the colors lighter But then of course it's like you got the you got the planet right there, and then of course you know you used the, the blue right here. You know, of course you know, didn't didn't leave a whole lot of white you know light inside there. But you got you know, the planet right there, and then of course you know, this planet I guess to say could be it's like uh, known as the Goldilocks planet. And uh, of course you got the the orange right here. But you got these different planets right here, and you could probably say they give it give it a certain name. And give it a certain name, such as you say a star. The star is for you know for what what galaxy is orbiting around. But uh, you have it to where you get that right here, and what I've written down is so far as you know for President John F. Kennedy, is it saying it's like land the man on the moon and return him to Earth, and then of course it's like you know, right to see here nineteen. Uh, I think it was 61. 61 when they talked about it, I guess they announced it, and I think it 1969 is whenever it, it's like whenever it's like you know, I think, you know, Neil Armstrong was his name that landed on the on the moon. It's like you got that right there, and so you got the the moon right here, and along with the bookmark. So far as talk about the story about Jason Dugard, but uh, but you know if you could you know maybe. You know, add up on the calculator is like uh, so far as is how many planets. So far as you know, the 
the amount of planets, 2-2 two, two, and, you know, 2-2 two, two, and stuff like that, you know, add up, you know, add up that, you know, the numbers exactly, and the numbers exactly for, for the planets, but I heard that, you know, there are millions, but I guess you can say that, you know, that there are more likely millions of, uh, of ways to discover, you know, other, other sources of life. And when I, out of those millions, you can probably say that, the, that, you know, I would probably say that other than us thinking about, it's like whenever, whenever the world is going to come to an end or whatever you call it, I really think that, the, that, that, you know, I'm sure that we are already, but, um, but I really just think that, um, that a lot of, a lot of scientists who say, you know, are just thinking that, um, that, you know, so far as the future, what is the future going to bring to us, you know, <laughs> the future, is the future going to give us better toys, or is it going to give us, you know, stuff like, uh, you know, machinery, weapons, and mass destruction, whatever it is, but I really think that this, you know, this in a lot of ways should be our future, it's talking about, you know, maternity science, it's talking about, you know, ways, you know, is it to discover the facts about the about you know what the what you can learn so far as um, if you could do maybe do the artwork yourself just think about it is like you know, how many how many miles or so is equal to a light year and my best guess is at least ten thousand miles I would say at least ten thousand miles more likely will be you know equal to a light year you got that right there and then of course it's like if you were to give a you know, planet you know, a name, it's like a, you know, you know, you got the uh, see here Plu for you know, Pluto, Plu, Plu you know, Pluto, no, you got your know, Pluto, no, or and then you got also have yeah you know, that name is like a the you know ta Talanta ta you know Talang uh, the Talanta. And then uh, you could have, let uh, me say, uh, you know, so far, like, kind of like for Goldilocks. So for, you know, for Goldilocks planet, and then of course you can, you can also look at it as like, kind of like, you know, scribbly lines. So if you Goldilocks planet. But uh, you have it to where you get, you get with the, with the reading glasses, along with the study about the, you know, maternity science. But you have it to where you got the pine cone charm, and knowing about, you know, the different planets, to discover different planets to discover so far as you know orbiting around the sun is you got the right here is you got the, the pine cone charm Noah is like a, for whatever planet it's like whatever planet that's facing you know north say like south you know, east or west or it's like or diagonally but the, so far with maternity science along you know, the bookmark I mean, you know maybe may have marked that you know in the book Right here, is so far with the pine cone charm, is it you know, is like a, it's like for you know for the amount of planets, you know for the amount of planets equal to it's like so far as it is like for for a light year for for maternity, and uh, of course is that you know with the so far with it with the stars with, for for the stars that orbit that orbit around for the planets and the different planets and stuff, but the, but of course. A lot of people will probably say that, that you know, what is maternity science? Well, that is a good question. Like you see, it is something, one, it's something I made up, and two, you know, of course, you know, it is, a, it is something that we can think about, you know, the, the millions, you know, the many things that we can learn so far as, as science, so far as the study about the, about the planets, and then you say, is, you know, the creativity. The creativity that, uh, of course, that we all could do. So far as you know, the study, the study about the different planets, you know, different sciences and stuff. So far as the magnets, and the magnets, and then along with the heat and stuff, you know, different different stuff that you probably you know, learned in science class. But uh, right here, you got the for maternity science, and then uh, add just a little bit of a so, so far as the glow. You got the you know, again, put a little bit of glow. Right here, the glow of black right here for the for the moon. And there, so far with the story of this Dugar, it's like you get have it to where that uh, you know, of course a lot of stuff would more likely not be in her book, but then of course that was something you know that the you know of course I I thought of, you know, by hand you know, I thought of just saying, you know, is that uh, that so far as the subject 